family from here. I'm about maybe 17 miles north of here. I just love learning. I love helping people learn, you know, so that's why I decided to come to teach it. And I came back here because I want to give back to my community, so that's why I came back here. Raise your hand if you think it was Jack's fault if one of the sheep were to get hurt. Okay, raise your hand if you think it's the friends' fault because they didn't come up the hill if one of the sheep got hurt. So everyone thinks it's Jack's fault. If, it would be Jack's fault if one of the sheep got hurt. We know that there are some huge shifts in, in thinking about the way instruction in the classroom is going to look with the Common Core. Um, we've had some professional development as a school. We work with a consultant who um, has a background in Singapore math, and she's talked with us a lot about math conversation. Um, I also went to a training that was paid for by our county this summer. In, the, um, in Phoenix, it was a training put on by the State Department. Um, there was a lot of professional development at that training that looked at how you facilitate math conversations. We read an article that was called, um, Don't Say Anything the Kids Can Say. So trying to get the kids to do a lot of the thinking themselves throughout the math lesson. And I've done some professional development previously before I came to the school that looked at facilitating conversations where you're getting kids to restate each other's ideas or agree or disagree. Um, so I tried to bring some of that in around the problem at the beginning of the lesson. Of course, you know, the trade-off that people always talk about is it takes so much more time to do it um, that way. But, you know, if you're, if you're just telling kids how to move through the st steps of the problem and they're not engaging in the thinking themselves, then, you know, they're not learning to do it independently. The number one thing yeah. when they come in here is just talk to them, mm -hmm. just to talk to them, period. Yeah. You know, not talk at them, mm -hmm. just talk with them. Simple yeah. conversation, whether if it's about books, whether if it's about the t-shirt they're wearing that day, the brand new shoes they got, anything, yeah. just anything. It's really and they important. love it. Yeah. They love it. parents are working out of town and they won't come home until Fridays or in two weeks. So a lot of the grandparents do come in and a lot of the aunties and uncles are taking care of the kids So, or even one parent. So we get, although we get, um, we, we, you know, people hear about how remote children are living here and when we have our back to school nights or um, and something, any activity that we have, we get, I would say, 90% of the parents here. So it, it's a really good outcome. Mm -hmm.